Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Super Kai Guy channel. In this video, I'm going to be replacing the injectors on my BMW Z4 with the N20 engine. Now, I'm not replacing them for the common reasons of rough running, misfiring, and things like that. I'm replacing them because I swapped the engine in this car about a year ago, and I've been having lean codes on this car ever since. I've tried pretty much everything, and I just couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is that the injectors that are in the car are EU six because the engine came from a new from a newer car uh, but my car originally had the eu5 injectors which are programmed into dme now i don't have the tools necessary to reprogram the computer on this car and i don't know anybody that would actually do it for me i asked a few local shops and they refused to even touch it so my only choice is to take the injectors from my old engine swap the Teflon seals as well as this decoupling ring and put them in the newer engine. It's only gonna cost me 50 bucks if it doesn't work. So I'm definitely willing to try. Let's get to it and hopefully it works. Since we're gonna be working with the fuel system, it's really important to disconnect the battery. So I'm in the back of the, tr of the car now in the trunk. I'm gonna remove the cover and disconnect the battery. There are a few steps before we can even see the injectors. The first one is to remove this cover and the acoustic cover as well. Now that we have both covers removed, we're going to remove the ignition coils. They just simply unclick and you remove the wiring harness and then pull on the ignition coil. Super easy. You do the same for all four. The next step is to release the pressure line that's attached to each injector, catch all the fuel that's going to come out because there will be some fuel. Uh, but before I'm going to do that, I want to blow out any kind of dirt and dust that's kind of, you know, within all of these crevices. You don't want to be getting any kind of stuff within your high pressure fuel system. Right, we're going to use a 17 millimeter wrench and release this nut. Uh, this is still under a little bit of pressure, so fuel will come out. You want to have something ready to at least you know, catch some of the fuel. You definitely don't want to be doing this if the car is hot. And this is why we disconnected the battery as well. If you go to the car, open the door or something like that, the fuel pump will turn on and start pumping fuel through this line. You definitely don't want that. You don't have to remove the line. It just has to be out of the way so you can twist this back once you loosen up all of uh, these nuts that are connected to the uh, injectors. Now we're gonna use a Torx socket, uh, it's a E8, and loosen these up just by a few threads. That way this can swing back once we get rid of these nuts here. Now I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter wrench and start taking off the fuel lines from the injectors. Usually you just have to loosen it up a little bit and then you can go with your fingers. Of course, there's gonna be fuel coming out of these as well. So I have uh, something ready to take it up. The fuel rail is now disconnected from all of the injectors. Uh, there will be a good amount of gas, so you wanna get as much of it as possible and you know dispose of this stuff properly. The next step is to remove the ground wire, which is connected right here, as well as these connectors that are going to the injectors themselves. Uh, these plastic parts are gonna be super brittle, so you wanna be very careful, go slow. 
I just kind of wiggle them around until they come out, or at least that's what works for me. The clip is actually on the inside in here. Uh, it's not this part. Makes it a lot easier not to break these clips, which sucks if you do. Okay, all of them are now removed. So you can move the wiring a little bit back so it's not in the way. Next, we're gonna be removing this bracket that's holding the injectors down. You wanna start with the 10 millimeter at the bottom, not the top one. The reason we're doing the bottom one first is because this hold down device can tilt and bend in the wrong spot and no longer be uh, properly supporting injectors, you know, when we install the new injectors. So you wanna do it in steps, kinda remove it all together. and remove the bracket. Now, if you're super lucky, you can just pull out your injector and you're done with the removal part. I am not super lucky, so we're gonna have to use a special tool. So in order to remove our stock injectors, we're gonna be using this uh, specialty BMW tool. Uh, you can find the links in the description. You can get them for a lot, lot cheaper on Amazon. Uh, BMW wants a couple hundred dollars for this. I think I paid like 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, first step to set it up is you unscrew, well actually screw in because it's a left hand thread. Uh, you screw it in, which undoes the nut, basically well, the other way. This is the position you want to be starting with. Now we're going to insert these two long bolts into the holes in the cylinder head until we are pretty much almost touching the injectors which should be about there. Now that we have the tool in place, we're gonna screw in these bolts in by a few threads. All right, so we have tightened these uh, by hand as far as we can. Uh, the tool is still a little bit loose, but now it's the perfect time to uh, screw in the pull-out threads, which is this big bolt. So you're gonna go left hand, which is actually screwing them in until you get to the injector. Once it's touching the injector, stop. Go the same on this one. So you want them to be more or less even, so you're not putting too much pressure on one or the other. Now we're gonna use this top screw basically and screw it onto the injector. You wanna go one at a time, a little bit here, a little bit there, so they're evenly going on to the injector. If something's not going even, you might wanna loosen up the other one until you get it right. You may have to play with this a little bit, but you'll get it. And this injector actually just came out without having to use any kind of tools. Let's see if I'm gonna be as lucky with this one. Actually, before I do that, I need to loosen this one. I wanna make sure that the threads are completely on the injector. fully on the injector now, and I'm gonna tighten these two bolts now, so I'm not putting any, any pressure on this injector right here. All right, hand tight. Now the BMW injectors are very sensitive, so you don't wanna be applying too much pressure pulling them out. If you do, uh, these injectors are gonna be basically garbage. You can throw them away. Uh, so I wanna keep these in case I need to reinstall them I'm doing a little bit of an experiment on my car. So you have to use a torque wrench, set it to five Newton meters and rotate clockwise in the clockwise rotation, which is actually going to be unscrewing and pulling onto the injector to, uh, for it to come out. And I just felt the injector pop out. It's coming out. So 
So my torque crunch hasn't clicked once, which is good, which means these injectors are still okay to reuse. If we change the seals as well as, uh, I think there's two seals in there, one Teflon and one kind of like a ring. All right, so that's out. Now I wanna make sure that both of them are loose and they are. Now we can actually remove the tool. And we're gonna be pulling out both injectors at the same time. There you go, both of them removed. Still should be in perfect usable condition if you replace these things right here as well as that teflon seal check out a more detailed video in the description as well as the link in the top right corner i go over the steps and why i'm doing what i'm doing i uh, just didn't want to include that in this video as it was getting over 20 minutes long and some people might just need this part of the video After you remove the injector from whatever was compressed in your seal, whether it's a new injector and it has a special cap on it, or if you were doing something DIY like I was, uh, or whatever it was, uh, you have about 30 seconds to put this coupling ring on and put the injector into the car. We're gonna reset our tool and insert it the same way we did before. Now we're gonna screw the tool onto the injector. So I'm gonna turn in this one left and this one right, kind of like this. So it's screwing this tool actually onto the injector. All right, now that it's tight on the injector, I'm gonna tighten down these uh, bolts right here to keep the tool in place. Now we're gonna do the opposite of removing the injectors. We're gonna set it to two Newton meters and turn it counterclockwise, so this way. Just heard a click, this is where you stop. The injector should be seated properly now. And now we can carefully start unscrewing these top bolts to remove the tool from uh, the injector, but first loosen these up so we're not pulling the injector back out. All right, so this side of the engine should be done. Uh, now we can move on to the second one and then just reassemble. Next, we're gonna install the hold down bracket. Uh, it is curved, so we make sure it's curved down when you install it on the injectors. That way it can actually hold the injectors in place. And we're gonna hand tighten the, these bolts. These bolts must be torqued to 13 newton meters or 
nine and a half pound feudo torque or so. Let's get that done. I want to do the bottom one first. All right, so I just finished the other two injectors. I'm gonna put everything back together, plug in the injectors, put the ground wire back on here, uh, reconnect the uh, high pressure fuel rail. There is a specific torque you need to put on these. I'll put that in, uh, in the description as well as on the video so you can look that up and make sure it's properly torqued up. Uh, after that, we're gonna put the ignition coils back in and just Tie, tie everything up and start the car. All right, so I just assembled everything. Um, I still have to do the injector compensation. I have a video on that, so check it out. Uh, it started pretty quick so I think uh, it looks pretty good we just have to adjust the injectors to the DME and it should be good to go well guys it's the next day and I've been driving the car for about 20 miles now I did all my errands while driving the car and basically giving it a good test drive uh, it drives perfectly there is no issues which I really 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 happy about uh, I was worried that I you know I messed something up or you know didn't do it perfectly to the correct torques but it looks like I did a good job everything's working and the best part there are no more lean codes for me which is amazing you know I've been struggling with this for a while uh, so I'm really happy that that worked so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it don't forget to comment like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one